So the first step in our uh, leaves drawing is to decide how we're going to arrange our leaves. And the important thing that I want you guys to do is realize that you're going to go off the four sides of our page. So we're going to organize the composition. This is called the composition. So when you actually draw your leaves, you want to think about how they can overhang the edge. The other thing I want you to do is think about overlapping. So obviously your leaves are not going to still be on your paper as you draw, but I just want to show you as an example, you want to, don't want a whole lot. The white space will be the negative space. The leaves are the positive space. So you want to think about how you can um, take your leaves and organize them on your paper so that they're going in different directions and they're overlapping. So this is just a way that I'm starting to get ideas. Okay, some areas the leaves are going to come off. Um, you can include whole branches if you want <clears throat> that have several leaves that are attached. Make sure you in include different sizes of leaves, but you want to have them um, organize them. Your final drawing, so you have several on here. Okay, this is a big project. You're going to have several leaves. Some of them can be upside down or right side up, but organize them and have them off, come up, coming off your page and touching all four sides. All right. So this is a good, this is a good drawing right here. This is a good composition that is going to inspire me. I have to take these leaves off and move them off to over to the side so that when I actually start to draw, this is what I'm going to look at. I'll go ahead and take a picture of them. So now I'm actually going to start to draw my leaves. And you can keep them. Like here's my organization. It's off to the side on another piece of paper. You can keep them. Just You can draw them exactly how they're set. Or you can draw them and then as you're drawing you can organize them a little bit differently. It's kind of up to you. The important thing is that you do take a picture of your leaves so that you can reference them later and know what they look like. Okay, so we'll go ahead and begin. And I'm going to start with this beautiful leaf. What I like about it is the fact that it's got both green and red on it. And I've got these beautiful veins in here and I have some areas that's actually curved over. So when you guys are doing your drawing, I want you to think about drawing light. And I hope this is dark enough that you can see on my video. Okay. And then you're going to, it's going to be not a sketch, but a contour drawing. Okay. Sort of a modified contour drawing. and come off the page in some areas. I'm planning to come off the page. Think about relationships. I'll draw a little bit darker so you guys can see what I'm doing. The only thing is that um, since I'm drawing darker, the, the pencil lines I do need to go back and erase because you don't want those pencil lines to show in the end. So I'll draw that a little darker so you can actually see. Get those little jagged edges. And it's okay if you make mistakes. What we'll do after you're finished with your drawing is we are going to watercolor it. And then we're going to use our black pens to go back in and do more detail on the leaf. So you don't have to go in and draw every single, um, this line comes off of here, just thinking. Okay, so you don't have to go in and do every single little detail right now. We, we'll go back in and do more of that later. Okay, so I have my first, first leaf drawn on here gonna come down. No, I'm not spending a whole lot of time on this drawing, am I? I'm going pretty fast. Okay, so next I have a beech leaf. It's from our beech tree. 
and I think I want it to actually overlap this other. You can you can take your leaves and say, well, where do I want this to go? Maybe maybe I want it to go over here. I think this one I'm going to have come up over and overlap this other leaf. And I think on this one, I'm going to do the basic shape and not worry about the little jagged details until I do my contour drawing. You can even go back in and erase so that doesn't confuse you too much. Okay, so I erased the, that was a maple leaf. Okay, so this was the maple leaf that I drew here. And now I'm gonna erase. I only know because they came out of trees in our yard. Okay. So this one is a tulip. That's a tulip leaf, our state Indiana state tree. And I think I'm going to have it overlap this beech leaf and come off here. Okay. A modified contour drawing. This is not technically, this is not a fast sketch. This is a modified contour drawing. I'm going to do this center line in here where the main vein comes through, this main vein, because it'll help me to know what I'm doing when I, it like keeps me centered, keeps me to know where my drawing is. What, where am I at on this drawing? You can make any races, you can go back, make some changes to your leaf. Just a few veins in here to help me get a good idea. This will be great because I can do some big splotches on here with my watercolor paint. Okay. So I'm going to do another maple leaf. I like this maple leaf. I like the color of it. And I'll have it come off. Maple leaves are a little bit harder because they have a lot more in here to draw. So I think I'll have this one come off this direction. I think I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. I don't like where that's at.
I'm gonna erase the leaves that are underneath this leaf. So my maple leaf is on top. So I have to erase part of that tulip that was underneath it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do, let's see, I need to do, I'll do something big for this side. So maybe I'll do another tulip for this side right here, right about there. I'm gonna do that line that goes through it first. And I'll put another beach beach leaf in here. Erase what's underneath. It's always the next step before you move on. Make sure you erase what's underneath. Okay, and then this is a leaf from a cherry tree. So I think I'm going to put it over here. Right there. All leaves are pointing in a different direction. That's the randomness. I'm trying to catch that random. How they fall, when they fall, they're so random on where they, there's no real organization to how they lay when they fall on the ground. So with my drawing, I'm trying to capture that same randomness. And that's the stem. So next step, erase what's underneath. Okay, so I pretty much have all my leaves drawn at this point, and I'm ready for the next step, which is to do the watercolor wash on top of the leaves. So it's important to remember that this is a multi-day class uh, project. It's gonna take us several days. So it's very important to um, go and take pictures of the leaves that you're going to be painting because you want to, oops, you really want, that's their sunflower. So you really want to make sure that um, you get that color and the detail, okay? The color and the detail. So take pictures of it. You've got those reference pictures because your leaves are going to get kind of dried up over the next week. 
And so, you, so now you can always go back and you can look at those leaves as you're drawing, you can always reference them.